Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. In this video, I'm going to show you that the problems that you could face uh, with bindings and having state passed around and then bindings passed around and then keeping the data in sync. Now, I made a previous video showing you how I, I created this view and how I've, I've done this. If you watch the longitude here and so on the users, uh, let's just go back to the beginning on all of them. And let's go back to the beginning on all of them. And this one here, go back to the beginning. So we have here Leanne Graham on the top, Leanne Graham on the top, and then another copy of it on the top. And if we come back here and we uh, come to the uh, coordinates inside this, and we come inside here to the addresses of Leanne Graham here as well, and then we come to this one too, and all the way down. When we make a change to the addresses here and just put one on the end, we come back to it and you can see every single view is in sync. Um, because I've managed to pass down the bindable, bindable data correctly to all of the individual child views, sibling views, and so on. So it's all the source of truth is being controlled at a view model at highest level. So all of the views are having a shared uh, source of truth. So I want to create this video to show you where the problems can occur. And uh, if you don't do it this way, where the problems are going to come. Uh, it could be a long video, but I, I just want to show you, let's create this view now, this, this app, without using this way. And let's just use bindings as it is, without extracting the data out and see how many problems we, we go into, because it's important for you to understand, in my opinion. So with that said, let's get started. So let's just go ahead and create a new iOS app. And we're just going to call it uh, binding. So binding uh, problems. Okay. And save, place it in my normal folder. And we're going to go from there. And we're going to do all the work on the iOS 15. And I have a uh, package here uh, for JSON placeholder API that I'm going to, just going to use to save time rather than having to create all this stuff. It's got all of the... Um, it's got all of the uh, models inside of there as well. I just got a simple uh, fu uh, function that downloads all resources or a resource here. So it just saves time for us in the future. So with that said, let's start by creating our uh, our uh, users uh, users uh, feature. Let's just call it, and then we'll create our uh, addresses feature addresses feature and we want a title in here say users and we'll do the other one here say then uh, base uh, users base users and this all wants to be wrapped in a tab view as well and let's just quickly say tab item here and label is then going to be users and then person three and we can copy this down to here as well to say base uh, users as well here, person three. And we can create uh, this one and we'll just call this one uh, map. And this is going to be then uh, addresses. Obviously, we don't have these views. So let's just come here quickly, create a folder and say views and create the first user feature. Users uh, feature here and we'll create the next one. And uh, that's then going to be address feature. Whoops. Is that what I named it? Address feature, yes. Okay, so there we go. Now we have this. And let's just add this uh, title to uh, the user features. So we have that. And we'll just make it a navigation title. Whoops, here. And come there. And uh, we want to also create it so we don't have to actually give the label instead and so we can come here and say users nice and easy all right and in this users feature we're going to want a navigation uh, stack as well and inside of here we'll just say title in the beginning so we have that all right and we'll come back to our content view and now we have our addresses and uh, let's just come to the addresses feature and also put this in a navigation stack too. Do navigation and say, uh, or sorry, the title and say addresses. Whoops, let's just say addresses here. And this is going to be addresses, and then we're going to say items, and then 
do item in and uh, say item item and then street here and we can come to here and say a uh, state var items equals and this is going to be uh, address and we'll say nothing and we can import the JSON placeholder here and we'll just say task and uh, then we need a, a cancer balloon here there like that and this has to be a state as well and we have to import combine the problems are going to start mounting up very very quickly uh, and you'll see business logic added to features here and so on so let's say get resources get res placeholder resources and this is going to be uh, users and with sync receive uh, users and uh, store in uh, cancelable uh, cancelable here and I'm going to say address it so items equals uh, users and say map and uh, the that is going, going to be a uh, address here and we're going to have to be explicit with this and say here so the the uh, thingy bob knows what we're talking about and to say that we're never going to have an error let's just say uh, certainly failure as well so we're all happy okay um, and we have our our users uh, we have our uh, addresses here uh, nice and uh, simple all right and uh, let's just come to our view here and say uh, v stack and uh, then we'll make an h stack here and we want the uh, v stack to be alignment uh, leading and inside of this one, we're going to say the uh, item uh, suite, and then we'll copy that and say streets, and we'll say font size, uh, callouts, and copy and paste this. And we can say then this is then zip code and city instead, and we'll just say bold here. Happy day. So we now we now have this, all right? But inside of each one of our items, we want to have a say a navigation link for a value, and this is then going to be the item, not the items, but the item instead, and we'll pop that in there. Happy day. So we now have we now have that one here, and uh, let's just pop our view. Whoops, addresses feature is already a navigation controller. Uh, sorry, I put the addresses in the wrong place, the, the title in the wrong place. Happy days, we're now on the correct title. Yeah, that would do. Okay, so now we want to pretty much copy and paste this to come to the users feature and uh, pretty much copy and paste this to users feature. Make the title once again and uh, just do the title. Save time self title is equal to title there we go and we'll pop this down here whoops and pop that down there sorry and then we'll just come up to here what's slowing down let's close what do we need to close okay and uh, just say import json placeholder and we're going to need import combine here too and we have here a uh, user instead and items here we want users and we don't want that so we just say users are users let's uh, give it a reload uh, cannot convert binding user item states what's your problem there what's your problem why are you doing that it's so stupid Xcode sometimes. Look, it's just because of this item. It's because of these names here. Look, let's say name and uh, get rid of that. It's so stupid sometimes. Street and we'll say email. Oops. Why it can't spot this stuff, I don't know. Uh, so there we go. There's that, there's that found. And let's just put these on a V stack instead. And we want then, actually that was all perfectly fine inside of here. And we'll put this out there, got that. And we want then 
this to be caption a call out sorry want it be a caption and fonts will be as it is but font weight bolt that's good enough for me all right so now we've got our um, addresses and this is then uh, users instead so now we've created our uh, view and uh, let's come back to our content view and we have our users and addresses okay and the base users is fine so we want to have on the user feature title needs to come to here and uh, title instead happy days back to the content view why are you going so slowly base users base users please there we go base users address and this one needs to be users right we're now happy we have all of this stuff so now we need to create these uh, individual uh, views all right so let's create the uh, user uh, detail uh, view and this this is wants to take this wants to take a binding of a, a user all right we're not don't want any any uh, optionals here we just want to say hey you're going to give me a user and I don't care all right and uh, we're not going to have a preview on this because I can't be bothered doing that and in here we're going to say uh, list uh, section uh, name name in here and text field name and then the username whoops and name and the next one we are going to create is uh, the uh, address here and this wants to be a navigation uh, link and we're not going to use the uh, value we want to use the destination and uh, this is going to be a labeled labeled content and say address and inside of here we're going to say user or we want to say uh, user address and uh, then let's just do streets here instead that's fine okay and the navigation link wants to take us uh, then to the um, address detail so let's just come and create the address detail now address detail view and we can pretty much copy and paste uh, this inside of here actually let's just copy paste the whole lot address detail and we'll just rename stuff afterwards address detail and we want an address and an address and we have a street street and that's going to be address and it's going to be street okay and then we're going to have chords here and whoops chords here and there we can have the uh, address and uh, geo chords and we're just going to say title right and inside of here we're going to create an extension for the geo and we're going to call it title is going to be a string and it's going to do nothing more than say uh, lats and then comma long here all right so that's happy so cannot find geo oh it's called uh, chords sorry my mistake and now we have uh, this so now we need our uh, chords uh, view here instead so we're going to say chords detail uh, view did I spell that correctly yes I did and we're going to do the same thing we're going to copy all of this and come into chords view and we'll just say chords detail view and chords here and say chords and we'll remove that and we will say latitude in here copy paste copy paste copy paste and say chords and say lats there and finally say uh, longitude if you know me I can't spell but and there and say long there good stuff and get rid of this and now we're done with that one view so our address view now wants to create a chords detail view uh, with the chords and we're going to say uh, dollar uh, geo here happy days and then we come back to 
uh, geo title yeah we come back to our uh, user detail view here we're going to say address uh, detail view and we're going to say user address happy days let's clean this up as well and then we come back to our users feature and uh, we will see uh, that we're going to have to add the uh, destination for a, uh, a user first of all and we're going to have a user here and we have to say user a detail view and uh, user right this is not a binding this is where the problems are going to start all right and for the time being just to get it up and running we're going to put a constant value there okay but we're going to have to change this this is going to be the bug here all right and we want to go to the address feature and we come to here and we're going to say destination for address self and say address and say address detail and once again whoops once again we are going to say here and address this is a constant that's going to be a bug as well so now let's run this and see whether we are uh, working and I just shut the simulator down so it's going to take a little bit more than uh, normal and we should all be working okay so we've got users and we can click into the users and now we can click into the uh, addresses and into the coordinates okay and uh, so let's just fix this uh, titles whoops navigation title and say address and then we we'll go to the chords view and say navigation and chords and display type in line and we'll copy and paste that for the other one as well because I only like the big titles for the main views we rerun this have a look again users come to their uh, users detail needs a title as well so navigation title just call it profile and place that there run it again and we should be ready now to start fixing any bugs that are there right so we've got profile we've got addresses we've got addresses there and we've got base users here as well so let's now just put this address down the bottom in the user detail view all right so user uh, features we have uh, that there and let's just say a uh, another v stack here whoops with uh, the alignment let's just copy and paste this there and uh, this is then going to be the address so the item address and this is going to be uh, sweet and we don't want bold but we do want uh, fonts caption to sweet let's copy that again and streets uh, v stack so and then uh, that's wants to be in a uh, h stack here like that and this underneath it wants to then be uh, the uh, zip code and this is going to be the city and we can remove this caption to the outside as well and we can do that same with this too remove this remove this let's rerun this have a look okay and we can see underneath now we have the uh, we have everything running and so when we come to the addresses we have the addresses there and we just change uh, this longitude to something there all right change that to there and we can see that our our Lian Graham has not updated this is the key part of it right because we have constants here right we've added the constant here from that and the address feature we added constants so we need to send on we need to send on this binding but right now we have these items of addresses and we are loading them the placeholder here and our uh, user features is loading the users here as well right so now you can start seeing where the problems occur so we have to extract this in the user features and we have to extract this to now a, a single source of truth and that's where the view model comes into play all right because even if they are bound together on with inside of the addresses let me just create this file even if these two views these two features here 
They have their own navigation stack, their own copies of the views, and they contain their own data. So they, they are literally in two different parallel universes. They don't can't talk to each other. So we need to bind them together to have one source of truth, first of all. So this is what we're going to do with inside of this view model. And we're going to say uh, just a view model, and this is going to be an observable object. And this is going to be uh, have the uh, users all right here and it's going to be empty in the beginning we're going to open up uh, we're going to import json placeholder and we are going to need uh, combine as well and uh, here so now we can create a function just say load and we'll say here guard users is empty else return so we only want to load this function once right and we can come to our users features and we can literally copy and paste this and put it inside of our uh, view model down here and just make cancelables here so that's fine and change this to users and we're happy dates now and uh, users is empty right that's all perfectly fine now and let's come back over to our uh, main uh, app here and we'll create a state object var view model and then view model here and instantiate this and then come to environment object and add this view model there all right we will now come over to our user feature and rather than have this we will now remove it and we'll say environment objects var view model is equal to view model happy days and inside of our task We'll do nothing more now and say load, all right? And inside of here, we'll say view model uh, users instead, all right? And that completes this side of it. And we've run this, we've still got an error, no problem. We'll come uh, to the address features as well and remove that. Come to view model uh, load once again as well and come here and say view model users here. Happy days, and <clears throat> and we'll just say constant address here to fix this once again, it's just so we're we're up and running. Okay, and obviously we need to uh, map this just to be uh, user address here instead, and everything will work fine. Okay, so let's just rerun this to see how many issues we bump into now. So when we come into the address here and we change, well we didn't change that. Let's just change the address at the top. So. And do we get any changes here? No, see, we, we don't have any changes here because we're still working on a, a constant here, right? And you can see that it we change it there, all right? We come to addresses and it comes back again, all right? So <laughs> that's a nice little bug that, isn't it? And we come back to here, boom, it changes it back again. Oh, that's interesting, that. that was I was not expecting that, to be honest with you that we, we update it, but boom, this one still is there and it's, it's updated it back again. And let's come down to this one. Let's see whether this one does it as well. So let's come change it again and see whether users does it here. Okay, so that's, that's super interesting. That it's, it's, yeah, that's super interesting. Right, so what we have to do now is we have to come, let's get rid of some of these views because it's confusing now. Let's close that down. And uh, let's have a look at our uh, view model. All right, so we've, we want to have some way now of uh, of uh, binding this. So, but we, we don't want to do it like the logical way because I want to show you the problems rather than uh, I want to show you the problems. So right now we've iterated through all the users. This is struct, okay? This is just a basic struct user here. So this is all passed by reference. So when we say navigation link, we are literally passing that by reference and we are now here. So when we pass this on, this now has nothing to do with the view models. This this is could be like a second or third copy now of this one user that, we, that we've received. So there's no way of 100% knowing that we have a binding between this. Well, no, we know 100% there's no binding between this and then the view models user that was actually there. So we need some form of binding to come to this instead. All right, well, now can we do a binding here? Remember, we're, we're here to search for ways that we can, whoops, search for ways 
that we can get around this. I've already made a video of showing you how to get around of it, but right now I'm just showing you the thought process, okay? So we want a binding directly to that one users instead, right? Well, just by filtering out the users, we have this user already. We need a binding that can, that can uh, get and set that one uh, user when we use it. So we say binding here, and we're then going to return the uh, view model here, uh, users, and we're going to say first where here, and we'll say this is going to be then ID is equal to user ID there. So, and we're going to give it a bit of an exclamation mark. And now here we've got to update this one users. All right, so we're going to say view model users is equal to view model users. And we're going to say map. So sorry, doorbells, telephones, ringing, all sorts of stuff. I'm getting a bit sidetracked every now and again. So what we need to do in this, we need to uh, update the user only if that user. Otherwise, we don't want to do anything. So I'm just going to do a guard. We might be able to simplify this in a second and say the uh, the dollar zero ID is equal to the uh, new value dot ID. All right. Else. We're just going to return the dollar zero, right? And if so, because we don't want to make any changes to the to this one user, we want to only make the changes if dollar ID is equal to this new uh, value ID here, right? And now if that is the case, we're going to uh, we're now going to return a uh, new value instead, all right? And uh, this could probably be actually just updated with uh, this here. And then, so if dollar ID is equal to this, then uh, we're going to do new value, otherwise dollar zero. That's fine. That's all we have to have. So this is this is perfectly fine. So now let's rerun it, and oh, the binding. Sorry, we want to pass into here. Whoops, no, we want a binding. Okay, now we have a now we have a binding. So we should see the users being updated now on the user feature. So let's come over to here. Let's update uh, Liam Graham and come over there. Now you can see the users are being updated, right? And let's come over to the addresses now just to see on the addresses feature. Uh, we have we have these one users, but now rather than this address, we want another like, uh, we're just going to say uh, wrapped uh, user here instead. And we'll say user like this. All right, and um, actually, we can just go through the uh, the users here instead, and we'll just get the uh, address is equal to item there, and uh, the item, and we'll change all of this down like that. So we have all of this. An item ad address my mistake there we go all right so now now we have the because uh, I want user I want to be able to display so we have the uh, what have we got the address let's just put the username on the bottom and we'll say item uh, username and I'll just put the name and then item username just to be there okay let's rerun this to see what it looks like now so it means now that on the addresses we have, let's just give it a caption two, make it a bit smaller. And the addresses. Okay, so now we can see Liam Graham and uh, Brett here. So if we come over and we change uh, the, the, the name on the profile here, you can see we're now updated on the addresses and we've updated on the other side as well. But the question is now if we update the address and we say the coolest light and come back over here, you'll see that it still has coolest light, but the the profile, the, the name has still been updated, right? And if we come over here and say coolest light two, back to here, you can see that we've managed to update the address on that, but it's come back to how it was again, right? So we come we come on uh, inside of the inside of this when we update the 
uh, the, the address, when we come back to users, you can see it's changed back again because our uh, user features has already done this binding here. Okay, it's done this binding already, but our address features is still on this constant. So we're going to basically just come back to our user features and copy this logic here instead and come down here. There we go. And now uh, we have our uh, address. But the thing is, right, we we want to have uh, we want to have this user ID still here, and this is where we want this wrapped user, right? So when we say the navigation uh, link value, we're going to say a wrapped user instead, and this is where we're going to say item. And now we can come down here and say wrapped address. Now we're in our own navigation stack, but I, I want I don't want I, we might want to be able to navigate to the user as well. So a wrapped user is we can come here instead and we can say wrapped and now here we can say address is equal to wrapped user address here and now with inside of this uh, we can just say for the sake of of clarity we can just say here user like this um, and now conform to hashable that's no problem that has to just have to be hashable. That clears all this up. And now with inside of our bindings, we can say binding here, but we're still not fit ready because we want to have the first user, right? And in this, we want to pass then the address back. Now, inside of here, when we map in the, uh, the users, we only want to update it if we are uh, read, well, equal to this one uh, new value ID, right? But we, so let's remove this, right? Inside of the users, we want to get, we only want to update because we know that this is um, the address, right? So first of all, we want to get our user and that's it. So we're only going to say if dollar here ID is uh, equal to, let's say not equal to, um, uh, user ID, right? We're going to return dollar zero here. So we're just going to say here we're going to ignore you from here. Now we're going to have to make a copy of. Now we're going to have to make a copy of the uh, user, right? That we have here, and we're going to say user dot address is equal to then uh, new value because this is being updated with a new value, and then we'll return this uh, user here as well. All right, so. Now we are getting the address straight from the view model and now we are returning a new version of it uh, which will be setting it which is setting the whole all of them once again all right let's run this again and we now should have everything working so let's come inside of the address and we'll update coolest light one come to the address and we see coolest light one everything is still updating coolest light one space two two and uh, when we come here, CUDA space one space two two, and we do this, and we all get the same thing. We update then the uh, coordinates. We do lots of twos down here, and you can see we get it down here, and we get it down here, and we change it over here, and we're already changed. See, so this is the art. We can get rid of this address now. So this is the art of being able to do this. But this logic with inside of uh, of this navigation destination, this logic doesn't really belong inside of this one view right this logic in my opinion and you could might have a different opinion uh, belongs elsewhere right but let's just say a uh, bindable bindable uh, address okay for id and this is then here and we want here to be the return value here is binding and uh, address because that's what we want and the first thing that we need to do, obviously, is like we don't want bindable. Sorry, we want binding here. The first thing we've got to do is get uh, the users first, where dollar uh, zero ID is equal to ID, and we are literally going to. Uh, we have to uh, import SwiftUI into this as well because we need bindings. Okay, so now we have our uh, user. And we can get rid of the view model here and the users also and the users also and uh, that's perfectly fine okay we have to use uh, self in here that's all right that's all right 
and uh, we need to return this all right and update it now we have a bindable address instead so we can say here view model uh, gets or oh, sorry bindable address and we have uh, our uh, wrapper uh, user ID instead rerun this again and it'll all still work just as it did before come to our addresses update this and add some rubbish down here and come down here and we'll see that everything has been updated on all of the views we'll update the name onto this the addresses and we see the update is is completely completely updated all right we'll remove it as well it just goes to show you how we can actually do this so inside of the bindable bindable address we technically don't actually have to do the bindable address we could just say bindable user this would work fine as well so when we say bindable user we remove this right and um, we can uh, literally just say because if we've got a bindable user then we can pass binding down and that binding will have a binding will have a binding and so on so we know that we only need one bindable user so in this sense we can come back to the users features and we can remove that there or so we can use this here and we can change this here so sorry the new value we want to say uh, self uh, users equals uh, self users map and here all right this is then updating uh, the users itself. Um, we don't need that uh, user actually. We just need ID here. That works uh, too because we have the ID sent here. So this should work now. If we come back to our addresses, we say bindable user for ID. And here we just say address. And we run this because this will work. So. We now have apartment 556 and come to here and add coolest lights, come to addresses and we see it all works perfectly fine. Come over here, all works perfectly fine. Let's come to the addresses uh, detail view and uh, we'll put suite in here as well. So we can see it working a little bit better. Uh, so addresses, we've got then suite and we update this to 555. Come over then, see it's all all updated perfectly well. All right, that was the different person that we wanted. It's all working, uh, suite 555. So this this is how you can get around these things. Um, it's probably an even, even better way of doing this, um, maybe. Now the whole point is that you shouldn't call this bindable user uh, unless you've already had this one user added to this one users here. So this is one of the caveats that prior to calling bindable user with inside of uh, here, you have to make sure that your view model has loaded this one user already. Now with inside navigation destination, we know that we have this, all right? So if we've, we've been provided this wrapped user, okay, we don't technically have to use this wrapped user inside of here, we could just say, user that would work uh, fine too so let's just go to here and say item that works fine too and uh, we can then just say uh, user here too because both of the um, the address feature and also then the user features they have their own navigation stack anyway so it doesn't uh, really matter and we aren't we aren't navigating um, we aren't navigating with uh, that so these users it, it just doesn't matter that we're identifying this address detail view with a user um, that is perfectly fine so with that said I hope that you've got something out this one video I hope that you've learned something from it uh, it's a super interesting uh, thing to be able to understand the only thing that you really need to uh, understand from here is uh, when the uh, published is going to be updated because it can be that with inside this view model that you are going to send this data on even further like get places resources this could be a, a service a repository a store a database file system or whatever and so every single time you see an update uh, to your users right you might want to update uh, the, the, the data instead so this is the source of truth for your UI 
right? But whether or not this is the source of truth for your application is another question, right? Remember, we're, the two different things is this is passing down to the UI and where this data comes from is is another direction whatsoever. So this is going to the left-hand side. If the left-hand side is the UI and then the right-hand side of this is then the data storage, the persistent store or whatever, then this is the, the part going off to the right-hand side to retrieve it and passing it down through a proxy into the publish. So there's a there's a separation between the view, the view and also then the data, the model and stuff. Now with that said, um, I've obviously made loads of other videos about how to think about this this uh, this type of art architectural way of thinking, and uh, it's an important way to think, in my opinion. And obviously, removing return keywords when we don't need them. Uh, so, with that said, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you've got something out of this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and do all of the other social media things that you can do out there. Other than that, if you've got any questions, feedback, or concerns, then let's uh, start a conversation as ever in the comment section down below thank you very much my name is david thorne and i'll see you in the next video ciao ciao and goodbye